the best designer bags if you love the bowling bag trend. Welcome to Luxify, we talk about fashion, luxury and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video listing the best designer bags if you love the bowling bag trend. The bowling bag is back in style. As for a lot of early 2000s fashion trends, the bowling is making its comeback. Milcha Prada is widely credited with having transforming bowlers from a practical item originally used to carry bowling bags to a coat accessory in the spring-summer 2000s collections. During the 90s, Karl Lagerfeld also presented beautiful bowlers in Chanel collections, and Dior also made the style iconic of Y2K fashion. Here on this video, I'll show you new designer bowling bags, the iconic retro style that are definitely back in fashion, and also two classic bags that are considered the predecessors of the bowling bag. All will be linked below in the description box. So without further ado, here are the best designer bags if you love the bowling bag trend. If you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Luxicom. Number 8. Givenchy Antigona Launched in Givenchy's Fall Winter 2010 collection, the Antigona bag is probably the fashion house's most renowned piece. Minimalist, structured and elegant, the Antigona immediately won the hearts of many icons, such as Beyoncé and Naomi Watts, as soon as it became available for purchase. It was named after Antigone from Greek mythology and perfectly encapsulates Givenchy's former creative director's fascination and love for the feminine-masculine contrast. The Antigona is beautifully structured and usually crafted in calfskin leather. The piece features a triangular Givenchy patch, oversized zip, and an adjustable, removable shoulder strap. This is the most iconic Givenchy bag and continues to be popular until this day. This is an amazing modern version of the bowling bag. It is not a literal interpretation of the style, but is a great alternative if you want a more understated bag. The small Antigona is sold for $2,390. Number 7. Hermes Bolide Considered one of the predecessors of the bowling bag, the Bolide predates the bowlers of the 2000s by nearly a century. The Bolide's sleek design was intended for top drivers and world travelers. The bag's trapezoidal shape fits easily into sports cars and luggage. The zip closure was discovered by Hermes CEO Emil Maurice Hermes during travels to America. Upon touring Henry Ford's factory, Hermes was struck by the zipper device he saw on the cloth top of a car. Suitably inspired, Hermes returned to France with a zipper patent and dubbed the bag born out of this discovery Le Sac pour l'Auto, which is now the Bolide, and the more minimalistic version called the 1923. This person's design meets at the intersection of classic beauty and function. The removable shoulder strap and rounded shape emphasize the Hermes bag's practicality. The Bolide comes in two styles, the mou and the rigid. The mou is made using soft leather, allowing it to slouch with use, while the rigid is sturdier and maintains its form over time. This is a classic bag that was designed almost 100 years ago, so it is bound to be a lifelong companion. You can see the similarities with bowling bags, but the Bolide is not one to go in and out of fashion. It is a classic Hermes bag. The Hermes Mini Bolide is priced just above $5,500. Number 6. The Row Bowling Bag the Row has recently joined the bowling bag trend with their own iteration of the style. Crafted from supple leather, the bag has a rounded silhouette with two top handles, as well as a detachable shoulder strap. If you want a classic fuss-free bowling bag, this is the one. The Row has also recently launched the Margot bag, which is a bowling-style bag with belted, cosseted side panels, creating some extra space inside. The Row is known for their elegant staple pieces, and this is the perfect everyday bag. The small Margot bag is also $3,450. Number 5. Loewe Amazona Though the two top handles and the elegant rectangular frame are reminiscent of a doctor's bag, the Amazona was envisioned as an accessory to accompany the booming female workforce to the office in the 1970s. The simple construction is designed both to exhibit the materials and craftsmanship of the bag and to reiterate that the Loewe woman means business. In the corner of the bag, you'll find an embossed Loewe logo, plus a fully functioning mini padlock and key. To celebrate the 175th anniversary of the fashion house, Anderson launched a campaign lanced by Jurgen Teller, where the Amazona returns with a message of independence and inclusivity. 
pragmatic and versatile. The new Amazonas reworked dimensions are designed with today's devices in mind and crafted in Loewe's Spanish ateliers, using the latest advances in leather craft. The Amazona wasn't originally designed as a bowling bag, but it definitely fits the trend. The medium Loewe Amazona is sold for $3,450. If you are enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Number 4. The R-Vibe Bowling Bag Launched in January 2022, the Dior R-Vibe Bags are the newest Dior bags that were presented at the Dior Cruise 22. The collection is composed of two handbags, the Dior Vibe Hobo Bag and the Dior Vibe Bowling Bag, both fusing the Dior heritage with the world of sportswear. The bowling bag is made of smooth calf skin, with the Christian Dior Paris signature at the front, highlighted by a zip pocket. This bag was inspired by sneakers' designs, which is evident in the rubber base that is embossed with stars. Dior is the first major Amazon to bring back the bowling bag. I expect it is the first of many, since this trend is only starting. The medium Dior Vibe bowling bag is sold for $4,700. Number 3. Louis Vuitton Alma the bag that rivals the Hermes Bolide for the predecessor of the bowling bag, the Alma, is an icon. This is a classic style from Louis Vuitton. The Alma handbag traces its origins to the Art Deco original, introduced in 1934. Rumor goes that the Alma was originally made for Coco Chanel as a custom order in 1925. Coco gave permission to produce the bag for the public later on. Its unmistakable shape makes this compact bag a timeless classic. There are multiple colors and materials to choose from, as well as sizes, so you can choose to wear this bag as a crossbody or top handle. There is an Alma bag for every taste. The Alma bag was the only non-Chanel bag that Coco Chanel ever carried. If it was good enough for Chanel, it is good enough for me. The Alma might not be usually considered a bowling bag, but it is the bag that might have inspired the first bowler bag ever. The Alma BB in the classic Damier print is sold for $1,760. Number 2. Dior Saddle Bowling Bag Designed by John Galliano for Autumn Winter 2001, this was one of the most iconic bowling bags of the 2000s. For this bag, Galliano mirrored the iconic saddle, designed in 1999, creating a double saddle design with the iconic D in the middle. Loved by celebrities and fashion lovers alike, this bag became a symbol of 2000s pop culture. It came in the Diorissimo print, leather, denim and even exotic letters. This bag can be found on the resale market, and it is definitely coming back in style. Number 1. Prada Bowling Bag The Prada Bowling Bag made its debut back in 2000 and has since become one of Prada's most classic styles. True to its name, the bag's top handle and rounded silhouette are directly inspired by actual bowling ball carrying bags of the 50s. The pairing of a modernist design with knots of classic styles, the bowling bag is as interesting to look at as it is to carry. The semicircle shape draws your attention immediately, as do the panels of leather that transform the bag into a more artistic design. The elegant simplicity paired with the sportiness of the bowling bag creates a show-stopping design that is nostalgic but not old. The bowling bag is currently not sold by Prada, but it remains one of their most iconic styles, and it is already coming back in style. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Comment below which brands you would like to know more about. And make sure to check my video about 7 retro bags that are back in style. Thank you for spending some time with us and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, I'll provide you with the best content about fashion, travel and luxury living. See you soon!